Hi, welcome on this virtual box machine. What day is it? 16th Friday, I have just uploaded Article Linux 18.11.2. I've downloaded it again from Article from uh, SourceForge. It's been checked, MD5, you know the drill. And I've installed it in VirtualBox. And this video is also okay. We can update something here. And we are going to make a video one to test the sound again because there was um, some kind of issue with it. But uh, last check, it was okay. And this tutorial again is what happens if you install today the latest version coming from SourceForge. You get immediately that's Arch Linux, you guys. Updates, right? So again, another video to update, and you, we can't stress it enough. Um, how what the procedure is and what you can do um, so maybe this time that's a good idea Eric let's do the long way around so how to update you go to our websites you know there are a few of them out there the only thing you need to know is this thing here there is our Linux information just general information anything about Ombox XFCE i3 but also about uh, general stuff like installing application X is on any Arch Linux and even Arch Linux, right? The D guys are the base guys, but also phase five Arch Linux. And if you want to build your own ISO, you need to be here. And this is our phase six. We're not ready for that yet, but there are already some tutorials about package builds. So more technical stuff. The thing is, I want to update, right? ArchLinux.com. General start here, update. How to change the version number, fine. How to update, okay, that's the one. How to update any Arch Linux, D, B, anything. How to stay rolling. So just pointing you in the direction that this is what I do, right? And this is what we're gonna do, the long one, to learn what changed. And the very, very, very fast one is do this one, then a scale. And if you see that uh, something changed in the bash RC, so compare two files here. And if there are new aliases, and I think we made four new aliases, you should check them out. But in this case, it's 11.2, right? So I'm guessing there are no changes, but let's check anyway as an educational video. Moving it somewhere, I don't know, there. And then this one, let's move that one there. So what are they saying? Long procedure to update. First they say do a backup scale. It's going to update, the, sorry, to, to make a, let's do shift, uh, super shift return, right? Control H, all shortcuts, never use any of the menus. So here you have these two files. And when we run, let's make this one then smaller. And that one here. If we run backup scale, it's going to backup scale. And scale is a folder in etc. etc scale. What happens? It says here you are. This is the contents of your etc scale from that day, hour, etc. Okay. We'll use it later to compare. Then you say let's update this system. Respect the privacy of others. Think before you type. Yes, it is great power indeed. And then you update. If downloads are slow, what you do, you go and type in mirror. But in this case, it's okay, I guess. So as you can see, even though the ISO was built, I think around 10 days ago, we get already lots of updates in. It doesn't it's, it's a lot of lines, but actually it's not that much to download and it's even less to update. So the net upgrade is only this size. That's nothing really. So proceed, yes. So we're at number two to the right here. We'll, we'll install all the Arch Linux. And let's look and find if there are Arch Linux in there. There is a Conky indeed. We've made a new Conky for you guys. There is Arch Linux bin 
And since the Conkey contained a font, there is also a new font here. So three elements. And let's, if you press now on spacebar, you don't need to scroll the way down. Tip, tip, tip. Here, back to the end on the termite terminal. Well, a better wait, I guess, to explain you more when it's downloaded first. It's still installing, but I found already something to speak about. Upgrading Arch Linux bin git, and it points you to the etc scale. It points you to the etc scale bin and config conkey. Not this guy. Arch Linux fonts is not installed in etc scale, so the fonts are somewhere else. But we have two packages that have written information in the scale, and what's written in the scale is never applied to your system ever so what you need to do on a rolling release is get the new stuff from etc scale and put them in your home directory and we have made lots of tutorials copy pasting everything over i was tired of that what you do when you're tired of something or if you forget the code you make an alias you can make lots of aliases even more uh, the, more than the ones we make right it's it's personal thing an alias and uh, where is the scale? Here it is. Copy everything recursively with force from etc scale. Get everything and put it in my home directory. That's what it says. Now you can keep typing all that or just type scale. That's why we have an alias. All right, everything installed. So we did the backup scale. We did the update, right? Arrow up. That's the last thing I did. Arrow up arrow down. So I have already a backup scale. This is before the update. This will be after the update, right? Backup scale. So now I have two files before the update, after the update. And what do we suggest here? If you want to really know what changed in these folders, select them, right mouse click, compare them, and then some little uh, some knowledge uh, again to make it even easier. It says up here, same, right? You don't want to see what's the same. So get rid of that. And this is everything that changed. So we've made a new use all course package, version two, version three. The thing is we have uh, someone on Discord who has bought a CPU with 16 cores. So we made sure that he can also update his system now to use 16 cores. That's it. So if you have more and more people, please report to Discord. We test uh, the script and we put in 12, I don't know, 14, 10, whatever you have. And then we have somebody to test, right? There is something new here as well, a new arch code, something strange. And we can just type it in if we are lucky we can run it but at this point in time it cannot be started so that's a good thing that i did that it's a mistake of mine and it's interesting to show you because we have not copy pasted everything from the scale over yet we've just made a backup scale right we did not copy etc scale to um, our home directory meaning we did not do this guy we're a step four not five Five is going to do that, and then we can run it. So we, the only thing we can do now is just say, whoa, what's this kind of strange stuff, right? Okay. I deleted my melt. Even better, was not intended to do that, but here's a tip. Super F5. File, open recent, there we are again. We've also installed a new conky, so we have here a typo, this is just a typo, just quick have a look. Have a loss, have a loss. Okay, fixed it. But this one is a new conkey, so um, so new examples here. I don't know if it shows, no, it doesn't show GPGs. So just three images, and this is code. This is Jesse's uh, conkey that we've changed, adapted to be used on Arch Linux with two variants. That's it basically. So, in a very easy way, you can see now what changed. 
it's not that difficult it doesn't take that much time and at some point in time you, you get the hang of it you say okay um, this is the procedure melt we've done melt and then you do scale everything is now copy pasted over and then you can try the arch thingy and the echo thingy and then it will find it those are new scripts in the dot bin by the way maybe it's a good thing i show you so dot bin is very very important because of fun elements but there is also a very important not fun element and we have here these cores and this is the version 2 and this is the version 3 this is the one with let's compare eric let's compare this is the one with 16 cores this was the old one so this can go version 2 is old bye that's the fun apps scripts and we've added two more you know we have this microcode error from time to time depending on your hardware the only thing you need to do is run this thing if you're on amd and if you're on intel and that's it you can forget about it once you run and you do a clean and a uh, rolling uh, user for a rolling um, release then then everything stays okay never should change it again but every clean install you need to run it all right um i guess that's it so this is scale thinking if i forgot something there is something new added as well our linux logo so all the logos have been uh, deleted in the open box config it was a strange place to be there and we've made a separate package so if you ever want to change anything uh, coloring svg this means you can just open inkscape and say to this guy i would like to have a red one or a yellow one or anything any color you like to have a beautiful homogene or is it how do you say that uh, desktop that is combining other colors that you like so it's an svg do your thing with it closed without saving and all the rest all right so that's that as well let's compare also before i forget these two guys is there a difference between bash rc and bash rc latest if you are rolling it's important if you do a clean install it's not important right so for the occasional sake i'm gonna do it so you'll see the green lines if something is different and the only thing that's different is this line and that's because it's coming from the iso how how it's built so that's okay there is no difference in here that's that and last but not least we have to update if you've done this one here arch and arco then if you run that one only the aor will be updated and i think there are some a few of them let's have a look so this can go i told you this guys eh? check with melt if bash rc and bash rc latest are the same so this can go as well and let's see if aor has anything for us as you see in the meantime 10 days ago Inksy has got an update so it's really good to see that people are still maintaining their application vivaldi has an update and this is for the video in vivaldi and even the cursor how do you know this cursor that you're looking at has an update as well so even cursors get updates so that's super there you go if you press again spacebar you're back at the bottom you scroll up spacebar back at the bottom super tip that's included in this video i only have to wait now um, our system is up to date i don't think we can um well the process of updating is really really done i don't know if anything is missing but uh, there you go we have now a fully up-to-date system and ctrl alt t will show you of course from the iso that you're working on the november release and you can enjoy it now and there's one thing i can explain you see already that this is an old kernel with in the update there was the linux kernel in there somewhere so my message you know what my message is if there is a linux kernel reboot right and then start having fun all right that's it enjoy arc linux